Earlier in the broadcast, we told you about the help that's on the way to rebuild infrastructure damaged by the flooding. But what about help for homeowners? Haley Morgan takes us to Washington County, where FEMA was on the ground today looking for those who need aid the most. I had two steps left in it. Jane Deschamps has lived in her house in the town of Barrie for 39 years. Her basement has flooded before, but never quite like this. Because I had a flood here in 2015. I looked like I was on an island. Were, the the, the driveway next here was totally full, full of water. All the way around me was totally full of water. Her basement was filled with 2,500 gallons of water. She says she could lose her furnace and several of her personal items got washed out during the flood. Her basement is now covered in mud. The disaster hit as she was trying to sell her house. So when FEMA showed up to help her apply for disaster relief, she was more than happy to fill out an application. If they can help us, I think that would be great. I had already... I had already decided to sell it, to leave here, and I'd already had a realtor come to a walkthrough and everything, and then this flood hit, which kind of now put things, you know, just kind of puts things on hold. FEMA. Reps with the federal agency are making stops throughout Vermont to help document the disaster to see if Vermonters will qualify for individual assistance. They have been in the state for a couple days and have helped dozens of people fill out applications. FEMA says there is no range of how much money a person will get as every situation is different. There are so many different programs that people may or may not qualify for, be eligible for. And really the best thing to do is to talk to a FEMA person one on one and, and the FEMA, people who work for FEMA are kind of a different breed. They really, really do want to help. And she went on and applied for it and then she hasn't really heard from anybody. So. Crystal Lowry has been in the community helping people with recovery. She says her basement flooded, but she has the means to get the help she needs and she'd rather not apply. I would rather the people that need it more to be able to have the help that they need because we have family and friends that can help us right now. FEMA will be here for the next couple of weeks talking to Vermonters about what they need and they're currently working on putting in some disaster recovery centers for people so that everybody can talk to a representative one-on-one. -on -one. Reporting in Montpelier, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.